Hello everyone, I hope you're having a great week. I wanted to let you know the following video was completely unplanned. It is not very, it's not completely thorough. It's just a little kind of a, a, a little touch on one particular tree disease, Ganoderma. And as I'm walking around and I go to these rest stops and truck stops and as I go places, I just see many, many things. This time, I just happened to walk on over. I just had my phone on me, so I don't have a very good speaker or anything like that. It's totally shot from the hip, not planned. So I say all that just so that you know, this is not a thorough video. There's more information. There's a whole lot more information, but this might be something that helps you go outside and take a look and see if you see this particular disease or and just to kind of show you what I'm seeing you know so again don't use this as any kind of diagnostic video in fact I wouldn't use anything I say as a true diagnostic video to properly diagnose a tree and a disease it, it really is best to be it's best that someone is there or sometimes they need to be sent to a lab there's a lot of things like Ganoderma it's pretty clear when you see it and there's other diseases you know you can send it in if you want but it's pretty pretty certain that's what it is um, and this is one of them but uh, anyway I hope you enjoy it if you have any questions I can't answer every question about the trees but if you have anything you'd like to say or comments feel free to put them in the comment section and uh, I look forward to reading them. I look forward to seeing what y'all have to say and, and maybe some questions I, I, I'll answer as many as I can. Hope you're all having a great week. I'll make another video soon and I do look forward to those comments. All right, bye. Okay, so I'm at a rest stop and I'm gonna take my 10 hour and I saw this fallen tree and I wanted to come take a look, so I did. And we have a hackberry here and we have what I think is a sweet gum that has failed at the root, at the base. And as I'm walking up to it, this is one of the things I'm looking for in a case like this, are fruiting bodies of diseases. And this is Ganoderma right here. This is Ganoderma and it causes rot. It attacks the live tissue and it attacks the heartwood, which is one of the reasons that makes it so bad. It doesn't just attack the heartwood, it attacks both. And so it kills the vascular system that gets nutrients and water and all of the things that it needs to do back and forth, up and down the canopy, the carbohydrates and everything from the leaves to store into the roots and for the energy from the roots that's stored to get into the tree as it's needed. So Ganoderma affects that and it attacks the, the tissue itself. So what we have is the rot here. You can see the different, we have some white rot here. This, and if you can hear it, it's crumbly. And that, that's a whole other topic for another, <laughs> for another video, white rot versus brown rot. But anyway, it, it crumbles, well one, one is more of a crumbly what it affects makes it crumble and kind of well spongy and one here makes it more like a cracker almost and that's the the portions that are brown rot but anyway so it weakens it see that it, it's it's just not supposed to do the it's spongy that's the white rot and we have more white rot up here just falling apart and then we have some solid wood and that's not so bad. I don't know if you can tell from the video, but it's I'm squeezing it, trying to break it. It's pretty solid. So we have the good wood mixed in with some rot and Morganoderma right there. This is upside down. It's hard to tell. But anyhow, I wanted to show you a video of one of the, really, that's a serious disease. You don't want to see Ganoderma on the base of your tree and that's where it will be is towards the base it's very rare that it's up much higher it's usually i i really not much more than like three to five feet and i rarely see it that high it's usually right down here towards the root flares 
and what will cause it is stress okay stress causes just about everything but when the root flares are covered with soil which to me it looks like it was because i see dirt here and this is part of the root flare we have dirt yeah see we've got dirt here so the root flare was covered and that could have been from development of the rest stop you know where we, we've got the parking lot added that fill here fill soil maybe they pushed a little down here or erosion but it covers the root flare and when the soil does that well that's a whole <laughs> that's another video but the the tissue's different and the biology is different the roots are meant to be in moisture and soil they have defenses in the root system that makes them handle that whereas the bark and trunk and branch tissue is just not meant to be covered and they have a different defense they're meant to get wet and then dry out and we also have bore activity these little holes that is not woodpecker those are bores and when you pull this all back well here's some you have the channels that they create and what the bores do is they come in whenever the tree gets stressed for various reasons like root flares being covered construction compacted soil lack of water water changes all kinds of things but the borers come in and they attack the vascular system the live tissue the cambium layer and that again affects nutrients and water to go up and down the canopy as it needs to, i mean up and down the vascular system as it needs to be or as it needs to and and they kill it off they girdle it and certain certain borers create different channels and so it's really neat there's like the pine, pine bark beetle there's different types of bark beetles and you can tell what type it was by the channels that they make yeah see i don't know what type these are offhand um you can tell the difference of when when they have exit holes that looks like possibly a flathead bore a flathead bore has a shape of a d round-headed bores they're they have a round hole like most of these but that might that might be from a flathead bore sometimes that doesn't matter what types they are sometimes it does we have like the emerald ash borer getting here into texas and coming in and that that matters but those are different the holes are smaller they they attack ash trees they're devastating for ash trees all right so to sum this up this is just a quick little video as i was walking by and we have ganoderma it's the result of the soil being built up possibly soil compaction here from development and it's caused rot at the base and into the root system and it lost its strength and it's failed it could possibly have some phytophthora too i'm not real sure that's a whole another thing these are diseases seriously um anyway i would i would love to just delve and i will how about we do that i'll delve more into each of these diseases because they each deserve absolutely at the very least their own video they they really deserve like a a, a few a, a day or two of discussion and what the research is for that and uh anyway i've dealt a lot with it there's a, i've dealt with a lot of diseases for trees but uh, the ones that really stand out are the bad ones we need to know about and ganoderma is one we really need to know about this when you can see it it's at the base of your tree one of the things that makes it kind of bad is if you'll notice it looks like mulch it looks like soil it blends in when it's when the if the tree wasn't falling down and you would see it down here and if there was mulch piled up against it which we don't want that can cause it as well but it'll blend in and it won't be noticeable or if there's growth around it like ivy or jasmine all kinds of things we don't want that let's look at the bottom of this one okay so i have a red oak here red oak gets ganoderma too Red oak gets Ganoderma really bad. 
they'll get it down at the base here all in there and see how we have I'm not sure what these are offhand but you can't see the base and there's been so many times I will have been at a customer's house and there'll be lots of plants beautiful things sometimes they're planted on purpose and it looks really nice but then I pull it back and there's Ganoderma just sitting there and this is where it's usually at down here in the base okay anyway look up Ganoderma please write any comments in the in the base here I will not be able to answer everyone's question about their trees I'm just gonna say that now I would love to but I can never answer everyone's question if I was one-on-one -on -one at a customer's house. I mean, I could stay there for a week answering questions, which I like, I just can't. Uh, I can't do that. But anyway, here we go. Look at that rot. Oh my word. Look, look how spongy. Look. It just falls apart. That's what rots will do. But this is what can happen and you don't want this happen at your house. All right, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna take a rest. It's a nice little rest stop here. Hope you're all having a great week. I will do another video soon. In the meantime, post your questions and any comments. Oh my, <laughs> it never ends. I wish I could help them all, I just can't. Okay, let's just look real quick. Damage, right here. The, the roots are a little covered. We've got boar activity. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not not good. Girdling roots. That wasn't the demise of the tree. Bore damage. In here. Oh. Yeah, so. Ooh, that might be armillaria. I think that's armillaria right here. That would cause this. Okay, I gotta go. This video was meant to be short. All right. <laughs> Hope y'all have a great week. Bye-bye. <laughs>